We're pretty sure you've heard Warren Buffett's name multiple times, even if you are not in finance. He's known to be the wealthiest investor of all time and has a net worth of over $84.5 billion as of 2020. In his book, The Psychology of Money, the author Morgan Housel explains what is the biggest secret of Mr. Buffett's phenomenal success. We will discuss it in this short video. At Read & Grow, we believe that books can change your life. Whatever your situation is, someone out there has gone through the same and shared the lessons in a book. Subscribe and join us on our quest to solve problems one book at a time. When it comes to value investing, there are more than 2,000 books written about how Mr. Buffett has made his fortune, what is his strategy, and what are his holdings. Yet very few of them mention one crucial fact that led to his success, the power of compounding. Many people don't realize this, but $81.5 billion out of his $84.5 billion, Buffett accumulated after his mid-60s. To illustrate a point, let's change the numbers a bit and say he started with $10,000 in his 30s and retired in his 60s, investing and compounding his money for only 30 years. Let's assume he was again able to generate a 22% annual return as he did in reality. This may be shocking for you, but after 30 years, his net worth would have been $6.9 million, which is 99.9% .9 less than his actual net worth. Make no mistake, Mr. Buffett is an excellent investor, but his real secret is time. This is how compounding works at its finest. At the beginning of the video, we said he is the wealthiest investor, not the greatest investor when it comes to pure performance. For example, Jim Simons, founder of Renaissance Technologies, has compounded his money since 1988 when he was 50 years old with an outstanding average return of 66% per year. Arguably, this is the best track record in the past 32 years when it comes to performance, yet Mr. Simons' net worth as of 2020 is $21 billion. This is 75% less than Mr. Buffett. The huge difference is due to the fact that Mr. Buffett started investing when he was 10 years old and he earned his first million at the age of 30, while Mr. Simons started investing when he was 50 years old. If Jim Simons had earned a 66% annual return for the same amount of years Buffett did, his net worth would have been $63 quintillion, which is a ridiculous amount of money. The lesson from this section of The Psychology of Money, a book we highly recommend reading, is that time is the single most important factor when it comes to investing and compounding your money. If you are planning to retire wealthy like some of the aforementioned investors, you better start soon and you better give yourself a lot of time. If you liked this video, make sure you check our summary of The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Thank you for watching.